Craig here. I got two new alarms in the mail yesterday. And here they are. Now, if you're going to try and guess the model number of either one of these without looking at the title, I'm going to tell you right now, you're wrong. Let's go ahead and investigate the one on the right here. So there's fire lettering on three sides of the strobe lens, and the strobe lens is frosted, so it's definitely not an ADA compliant fire alarm device. On the back here is a circuit board with no mechanical parts, so it's an electronic horn of some type. On the bottom of this is a Wheelock sticker. So this is model number AES-EL1-WS-24. 24 volt DC, 1.5 candela, tritone, tri-input horn with strobe. Yes, tritone, tri-input horn with strobe. Let's investigate this one here. Strobe on this one has a little more familiar design to it. There's fire lettering only on two sides of it. But on the bottom of this one is a Cerberus Pyrotronics sticker. This is the model number AESM-E. It's 117 candela, 24 volt, tritone, tri-input horn with strobe. The Wheelock model number of this would be AES-EL1-WM-24. All right, so let's go ahead and have a close look at the back of these here. Um, literally everything on these is the same besides the strobe. So yeah, let's just look at the WM one here. So you have four sets of inputs down here. You have horn tone input, warble tone input, siren tone input, and then the strobe input. And then the, up here is a four-way dip switch. I'll explain what that is here in a little bit. Now, um, unlike standard ES sounders, you don't have j just the two inputs and then control tones with a dip switch up here. You don't have that. So this dip switch doesn't control what tones these put out. Um... What the dip switch does control, however, is which of these three inputs will also control the strobe. So yes, you can just run this device off of two wires if you wish. So let's say you wanted to just use the horn tone and you only had two pairs of wires that you could work with. Or rather, just two wires to work with in general. You don't need to use the strobe input here. Because in fact, if you do use the strobe input, obviously all you're gonna get is a strobe flash. You won't get any horn. So to compensate for that, you just turn turn the first switch here on. And now you can run the strobe off of the horn input. So if you wanted to do the same thing with the warble input, you'd turn switch 2 on, and then siren input, switch 3. Switch 4 here is to control the volume. So if it's off, it's on low volume, you turn it on, it's high volume. Bearable. Oh my god, my ears are going to shred. So yeah. Um, get power supplies out and some stuff, and we can go ahead and test these things out.